Good day greetings, welcome to another video. In today's video we are doing a question that is an extract from a previous question paper. So let me welcome you all to this video. So the question goes as follows. In the diagram below, PQ is parallel to KM, KL is equals to KM and then we given angle K to be 2x and PQM is 6x and the question wants us to determine the value of x. So I would always advise you guys to highlight the important properties uh, that's given. That is line, the line KL is equals to the line KM and PQ, line PQ is parallel to line KM. So we asked to determine the value of X. So guys, one way to do this is if we can find angle L and angle M, then we can make use of some of interior angles of a triangle. If we can just find a way of determining these two angles, because we have two X here, then we can use the property of sum of interior angles of a triangle. So let's, let's take note of these two parallel lines. Uh, that is PQ and KM. You, we can form a U shape and the angles that exist in the U shape between parallel lines are co-interior angles. So it means that we can therefore find this angle here because co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So we can say angle M plus angle PQM, PQM is equal to 180 degrees. So now we can substitute PQM is 6X. So now we can substitute. We are looking for M plus PQM is 6X is equal to 180 degrees. So rearranging between M subject of the formula, M is equal to 180 degrees minus 6X. So now we can just note this angle here is 180 degrees minus 6X. And now it will become quite easy to find the, the angle L because we know that these angles, these sides, KM and KL are equal in length. And because they're equal in length, it means triangle KL, triangle KLM becomes an isosceles triangle. And we know for isosceles triangles that the angles opposite equal sides are equal. So this angle is opposite this side. And this angle is opposite this side. And because these two sides are equal, it means the two angles will become equal. So now we can say angle L is equal to angle K, which is equal to 180 degrees minus 6X. And the reason is angles opposite equal sides. So now we can also just label this angle as 180 degrees minus 6X. So now we can use the sum of interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So angle K plus L plus angle M is equal to 180 degrees. So now we can substitute 2X, K is equal to 2X. K is equal to 2X plus L is 180 degrees minus 6X plus M is 180 degrees minus 6X. All this is equals to 180 degrees. So now we can rearrange all terms containing variables on one side of the equation and all constants on the other side. So let's rearrange to solve for x. So on the left hand side we have we have uh, minus 6x minus 6x is minus 12x plus 2x that is negative 10x and if you take 360 over and subtract it from 180, you'll have minus 180 degrees. So you can divide both sides by negative 10. So therefore, x should be equals to 18 degrees. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.